So today we're going to be working on our Kandinsky circle banners. You should have or will be getting a long sheet of paper like this. And we're going to hang these vertically, but I'm going to work on it horizontally so it fits on the screen. We've been talking about warm colors and cool colors. We're going to do some of both for our concentric circles with Kandinsky for this banner. So first, I'm going to pick my cool colors. So for my cool colors, I'm going to have purple, blue, and green. I'm going to start with my cool color circles on one side, and then I'm going to do my warm color circles on the other. And I want these to be various sizes. So I might start my first one a little smaller. I'm going to go with a green, blue, purple pattern first. Patterns don't all have to be the same. We're actually going to mix them up a little bit as we go. And when I try and keep this a circle, I don't want it to turn into an oval or something messy. You notice I get these little flakes sometimes of the oil pastel in there. Don't rub your paper like this. It's going to smudge this. What you do instead is turn it sideways and tap the edge of your paper and those will fall right off of there. All right. So now let's go ahead and we're going to try another one over here. I think I'm going to do a different color blue in my box this time. And I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Try and keep the same thickness all the way around. You can also see how wide I'm holding it so that my paper doesn't move because I am pushing down pretty hard to make sure I don't get those little white specks left showing in between my lines. I'm going to switch to the purple. Let's see. Fill in all those specks again, right? Don't want any of those to show up. Keep it a circle. I'm going to work on this a little bit here to make it more circular, not so oval-like. There we go. And then a green in the middle. I think I have a bright green to use this time. There we go. So there I have another set of cool circles. I haven't done a green on the outside yet. So I think I'll start with one more that's a green. And this one I'm going to do really big. This one, my piece was kind of broken, so I could turn it on the side to start getting an idea of how big I can make it. Make these other places a little bit thicker. And again, this is our cool color concentric circles on this side that we're doing. Okay. And then I like, let's see, I'm going to do a blue, darker blue on this one. I want it to bump against that green, and it's okay if it does because they're similar colors, so they'll just blend into each other a little bit. And maybe on this one, I want my blue to be a little bit thinner. And then I want my purple in the middle to be a little bit bigger. I have a big center dot this time. So I've used three different colors, or three different hues. I've used purples, blues, and greens, and I've done them in different orders on this side of my paper. So now I'm going to flip my paper around, and I'm going to work on the warm colors on this side. I'll speed that part up for you, because it's done the same way. We're just using our warm colors, red, orange, and yellow this time. Okay, now that I have my six big circles in, my warm ones and my cool ones, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add some individual circles that aren't necessarily filled in, or if they are, they're really tiny. It's just sort of like adding some extra little bubbles here and there. I want to make sure, again, that they stay circles, though. I don't want to let them turn into ovals or funky, wibbly, wobbly shapes, right? I want them, and I want to keep my cools with my cools, my warms with my warms, but I want these to stay nice and smooth, just like I did before. Kind of have one over here. There we go. 
And then on this side, I think I'll add a little dot on over here. And then maybe a circle that goes off my edge over here. Whoops, sorry, you guys can't see that. A little dot here. Slightly larger dot over here. Maybe I'll do another mini circle inside this one. I kind of like that idea. I haven't tried that yet. Oops, be careful. It's getting a little messy there. And then of course, a yellow here. And I think I'll hide half a yellow that goes off the page over here. So a semicircle. There we go. Now I'm ready to move on to the next step that we're going to complete in the next class. That's going to be adding the watercolor. Hi, and welcome back. Today we're going to work on painting our Kandinsky banners today. I'm going to start with the cool side. And what we want to do is we want to do um, a reverse rainbow with our warm to cool colors today. So I'm going to mix up my paints over here a little bit and get the right colors going that I need. I'm going to start with my reds and my oranges on this side. And you'll notice I'm just painting top to bottom, nice and gentle, with really watery watercolors. And it pops right off of those watercolors that are already on here. I'm going to do about the first third of it red. So if I was going to divide the cool side into three sections, the first one's going to be red. And then I'm going to switch over and start adding in yellow. Because when I mix my red and my yellow, I'm going to get what? Orange. I should get orange when I start mixing those two. I'm going to do them while they're still wet so they sort of bleed into each other like they are here. I really like that effect when I'm painting things. So I use it a lot. Grab some more yellow. I'm going to move the yellow this way first. And then I'm going to take it back into the orange. There's another good section where it's kind of taking off on its own and bleeding over. And then when I switch over to here and I get to my warm side, I want to switch my colors to, we're doing the rainbow, so red, orange, yellow, which means this should be green. I'm going to grab some of my green and start right in the middle. And you see it's only sticking where there's paper. It does not stick to my oil pastels at all. It bounces right off of those, of course. All right. Again, I'm keeping it very watery. I'm working it backwards till it touches the yellow because now while it touches the yellow while the yellow is wet, it's going to bleed into the yellow and give me that rainbow effect a little bit, isn't it? I'm going to keep going this way now. And then if I'm going red, orange, yellow, green, what comes next? Blue comes next. I think my cat's answering on the floor for me. So I'm going to start adding in my blue. Get that area up there. And then of course after blue comes, you guys remember? Our purple colors. Yep. So way down here, I'm going to have purple that I fill in. Remember, keep it nice and watery. If I have liquid watercolors, I'll give those to you guys. Uh, if not, then I'll let me zoom this, move this over for you. Sorry about that. I did the purples down here into the blue. If I don't have liquid watercolors, you'll be using regular palette watercolors, and you'll just have to keep those nice and wet. I'm going to rinse my brush out and then blend to this line a little more by just kind of doing a zigzag and letting it do its thing. And then you can see I have some little drops of paint where it doesn't stick to these. I'm going to get some paper towel. I'm going to use a regular towel tonight, but you guys can get some paper towel. And going straight down with that paper towel, I'm not going to let it touch any of my other watercolors. Just where it's on top of the oil pastel, I'm going to gently blot it. I'm not wiping. I'm blotting, which means I push down and lift straight back up to get some of that extra paint off of there so that when it dries, I don't have funny gobs of paint drying on top of my oil pastels because they're not sticking there. So they're just going to dry in like little balls of dirt paint and then it'll get all over your backpack. We don't want those all over your backpack. So just dot, 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 dot to pick those all up. If there's a couple that are left, that's okay. We'll just leave them there. They can help add to some of the design. So there we have our Kandinsky banners. Those will go on the drying rack and you can take them home soon.